Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, February 3rd, 2024, and I'm out here at Reading and Northern's Nesquahoning campus. And before you get your hopes up, no, a train is not coming. That's not why I'm here. I'm here today to actually start filming a rather ambitious project. That is building number four. This was the old KME manufacturing facility. They used to make fire trucks here. Reading and Northern acquired this property in 2022. And that is building three over there. And I'm standing more specifically in the parking lot near the tracks. And guess what, guys? This isn't going to be a parking lot in this part much longer. You know why? It's because Reading and Northern is about to begin an ambitious new construction project. This, my friends, is going to be the site of their newest passenger station. And over here is a pile of rails that were just delivered. These will be used for the track for the passenger platform. And the other thing going on here is that they have lines marked out on the pavement between buildings four leading into building three. Building three, from what I understand, is going to become a locomotive repair and maintenance shop. So there's a lot of exciting things going to be going on here this summer, guys. This is just the first clip, but this is also the start of a larger video. And I'm going to check in with the incremental progress as they build the new Nesquahoning station. And I'll keep coming back here until it's been completed. Alright guys, you see that gondola coming up there? That is now the new switch installed and the first bit of siding put in place. That is going to lead to building three and lead to our new passenger platform, which is going to be right about here. Got some track ready to install. I'll be back on location next weekend with an update on that for you. All right, we're back here in Esquihoning, and now it's February 15th. It's Thursday afternoon. And things are already looking a little different here. And the main reason I'm here today, if you hadn't seen the announcement already this morning, we announced the dates for this year's Iron Horse Rambles. And guess what? Two of those trips are leaving from the Nesquahoning campus. And we've also had some snow in that time. And very conveniently, this snow pile here, this will give you a good approximation of where the station platform is going to be going. So on Saturday morning, June 22nd, 2024, we're going to have our first passenger train leave this location. And that's going to be pulled by our steam locomotive number 2102 going up to Tunkhannock. So that will actually go east of here, cross the freight bridge that you often see in Lehigh Gorge State Park, continue north up through Lehigh Gorge to Whitehaven, up Penobscot Mountain, down to the Pittston Yard, and then it'll follow along the river to Tunkhannock. And once there, passengers will get to enjoy the 43rd Annual Founders Festival. And then the second trip out of this location is also going to be an Iron Horse Ramble with 2102. And that will be on Saturday, August 17th, 2024. And that trip is going to go up to Pittston for the Tomato Festival. Obviously, there's still going to be a lot of work to do between now and then. But when this platform is built, it's going to be similar to the one in Pittston. Now, hopefully you can see here, they're a little buried in the snow. We've got the tracks that were piled up here last week. They are laid out now, not in their final position, but they're ready to be put into place. And what they'll do is they'll make a parallel siding to the main line. And the passengers will board from the platform onto that siding, not directly onto the main line. And we'll take a walk up ahead so I can show you where that's going to connect into the main line with a new switch. All right, so walking a little further east now, you can see they've actually started to score the pavement here. And 
and this is where those tracks I showed you are going to be laid. They will come up here to this gondola and there will be another switch put in somewhere across the driveway into the complex. So the snow's obscuring some of it, but you can see this straight score mark runs right up. Obviously they're going to have to relocate that signal cabinet. But that track will come right into this switch and then it'll switch out onto the main line. And taking a look, this is the main line. We're looking west towards Lake Hotto and you can see the pile of snow there. And that's where the platform's going to go. That's where I was just showing you around. And when I pan across the main line here, now we're looking east into the heart of Nesquahoning, and that would eventually go out to Lehigh Gorge. You can see that this new siding has been at least started. We've got the timbers down, the first rails laid, and the switches in place to connect up to the main line. And the prior clip you saw prior to today's update, and that was from my ride on Saturday, February 10th. We got a quick look at this switch on the way back to Reading. So where is this siding going to go? Well, this is not actually going to go to the passenger platform. This is going to follow these lines. We started tracing these out a week and a half ago on our first visit here. And these lines are going to go up to building three ahead. And that's where they're going to be able to work on the locomotives and cars. All right, and you can expect construction progress to happen pretty fast here now. We're only a little over three months away from the first Iron Horse Ramble of 2024. And there's a lot of construction and a lot of snow melting that's got to happen between here and there. But I'm looking forward to sharing the progress with everybody. We'll be back here soon for the next episode so you can see how things are coming along. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the tracks.